Welcome to the Jedi Knights Watch, everybody. My name is Graham, and today we have a Hot Toys 1 6 figure unboxing and review. This video is going to be on the brand new Batman Forever, the sonar suit Batman. Now, I gotta admit, I'm not the biggest fan of this movie, but hey, it's Batman, so I figured I gotta get my hands on this. Now, before we get too far into the video, I want to invite you to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell so you don't miss any new unboxings coming your way. Let's start by taking a look at the art box itself. I really, really like this box. I like the close-up of the actual figure on the front, and then we do have the Batman Forever logo in the upper right. We have a vertical going down Batman. Again, here you can just see the great detail in this figure. I have a feeling it's going to be beautiful. I've heard really good things, so I can't wait to get this thing out and review it with you guys. On the back, we do have all of the warnings and creators of the figure itself. And again, this is Hot Toys. I have to admit, I'm a big fan of the 89 and 92 Batman Returns movies. So when I was a kid and I kind of saw this new Batman coming, how they changed the Batmobile and everything like that, I was not on board. It was too goofy for me too kid friendly and I was a kid so that's kind of funny but it was just one of those things that I didn't really gravitate towards it's an okay movie but it's definitely not one of my favorites but I am a big Val Kilmer fan so again this does have somewhat of a special place in my heart and it does have that 90s nostalgia when we take it and put it on the table it's got this slip up cover and we do have this nice window viewing that we can kind of see the figure um, but it is in all of its wrapping, so once we kind of take the clamshell off and have the wrapping off, we get our first look at the figure. And this thing's bigger than I thought it would be, too. I can't remember Val Kilmer being that um, that big, but man, this guy comes with a lot of stuff. He's got like this old school style DX base, tons of hands, tons of accessories. If I didn't know any better, I would think this was a DX figure, but it is not labeled that. So. Let's start by taking a look at the base before we get into the figure itself. And again, it does come with this square looking, uh, very shiny base. It's got this nice metal nameplate on the front that just is very simply says Batman. And then it's got the Bat logo uh, kind of worked in there with the Riddler itself. Um, that is the Batman Forever logo. It's kind of embossed, so it kind of raised up off. This is a nice base. I can't understand though why they keep using it because it still has the light housings and the battery um, casing in it. it does come with this nice crotch grabber but um, this thing is going to attract fingerprints and it's probably going to easily scratch so just be careful and then now we do have the accessories that come with our batman figure and you can see everything here um, it, it, it's enough because you know he comes with a lot of hands he comes with a lot of like this these the grappling gun and all this but let's start with the hand here the gloved hands now the cool thing about this you can see the stitching and everything is these are gonna be interchangeable with the the Robin figure so Robin doesn't come with much so you're gonna be able to share accessories share hands and um, that's pretty cool so all these hands you know are, are really nice too because they're specially made to hold some of these um, batarangs and these grappling guns and whatnot so that's a really nice thing about it you can just see this underwater thing you know holds this hand specifically or the hand holds it specifically but you know really nice shine to the gloves they look really nice they got the kind of that plastic looking stitching comes with cool hands that can hold the belt so these are made especially for that so that's really cool too hot toys did go out of the way to kind of think about this stuff this batman comes with the sonar eyes and this tool here is what you use to kind of take the uh, eyes in the cowl out and then put these in um the uh bvs batman came with a similar um, tool as well we do have the uh, bat the grappling gun that just kind of goes on his um, gauntlet and then this little bat can come out and you can hook the actual um, metal grappling batarang or whatever you want to call it and it just kind of plugs in like that so you can use it that way if you want be careful it's very thin but it is like a metal wire and don't be careful you don't lose this thing because it can easily get away from you um, and then we do have this cool silver looking battering. It's got a nice shine to it. Definitely has like that 90s Batman forever look. And then another battering right here. Again, he can hold these specifically. This thing, I'm not really sure what it is. I don't remember him using it. Again, I'm not the biggest fan of this movie, so I haven't seen it for some time. If anybody knows what it is out there, let me know. And then this, he can hold as well. And it's like an underwater... Um, 
tool or weapon, I, I can't remember, but it, it, it does uh, remind me that it's like something underwater towards the end of the movie there when they're going after the Riddler. So that is going to be the accessories. Now let's get our first look at the Batman figure itself. And here we have the Batman figure in all its glory. Guys, this just looks so awesome with the the Jedi Night's Watch lights in the back and then the Batmobiles and the other Batman and Joker figures in the back. This thing is really cool and it screams Batman. Even if you're not the biggest fan of the movie, this figure really looks great out of the box. He's got a nice shine to him. It's going to be a full rubber suit. You know, there's a lot going on in this suit. There's a lot of details. There's a lot of muscle sculpting. There's a lot of like, almost looks like vents or something like that. You know, you got the 90s looking gauntlets and blades there. And here we have a closer look at the cowl. I think the Val, Kil Val Kilmer likeness is there. Um, does not come with interchangeable face plates, which I'm fine with. Um, because typically I just use kind of the resting face anyways. So... Now let's get the figure in hand and just get a better look here. Um, again, all rubber has a nice shine to it. In some lights, it's almost like a silvery blue. Um, so it's kind of got, um, it's got like the wrinkles in the arms kind of already there for you. Good look at the Val Kilmer likeness. And um, yeah, you got like vents going on the sides. You know, he's got the taller kind of the uh, bat ears going on and the bat logo kind of blends in in the chest. The belt is going to be floating so you can adjust that if you need to. Uh, the one thing with this figure, though, is not going to have a whole lot of articulation. You can just see that the, the head barely moves. It's real stiff. Um, not like some of these other, like the Batman Returns. You can kind of move the cowl a lot. It is going to be on a ratcheted body, but as you can see, that rubber is really going to bend and, and fold. Um, you can see kind of the, the gauntlets there, too, with the sharp blades, so just kind of be careful it doesn't prick you. But um, again... This is a problem for articulation. There's not going to be a whole lot we're going to do, but I get it because it's a rubber suit. So, like, you're kind of sacrificing the articulation because you're using a rubber suit. So this guy's going to be very aesthetically pleasing, but he's not going to be able to get into a lot of poses. And if you are, you're going to see a lot of, like, creasing and wrinkling in the suit. But he does have some crunch. The legs do kind of come up to here, but look at just kind of the... The, the suit has nowhere to go, so... I think this is definitely going to be a figure that I have in a museum pose, a very simple pose, which is fine because we just want Batman in a simple pose, a brooding pose, so it's not a big deal. The boots look really nice. You can see the stitching going all the way up the sides, but there's going to be no articulation here at all, no split cut boot design, so that's kind of a bummer. We do have swivels in the thighs and the arms as well, um, so they did their best. You know, The body is, is ratcheted. It's going to be restricted by that suit but the cape is something that i'm really excited about this is like the first batman cape that um i feel like i don't have to go and get a custom cape it drapes really nice it's got some weight to it it feels really hefty it's not pleather but it's kind of got that pleathery look to it a little bit like a crinkled pleather um, but overall this is just a really good looking figure that i'm impressed with outside of obviously articulation you know you do get a lot of cool like accessories with it, but I don't know how many of them you're really going to be able to use um, in an action or dynamic pose. But now let's get a look at Batman compared to some of the other Batman figures. So we do have the Batman Returns figure all the way to the left. Batman Forever Val Kilmer in the middle there next to Christian Bale's uh, Dark Knight Rises. And then we do have the BVS Batman as well. And this just gives you kind of a a comparison at all the different suits that we've seen over the years and this looks really cool just having all the Batman figures together but you can really tell the Batman Forever has like this bluish silver uh, hue to the suit where everyone else is kind of like a grayish black um, definitely a lot more shine than everybody else actually looks taller than even the uh, Ben Affleck Batman which is crazy because I know he's really tall but just kind of towering over you know, he definitely has his own unique look, and he kind of stands out in his own right. You know, Batman Returns has that hard yellow, and then BVS just kind of has all those muscles, and then Dark Knight Rises obviously has, you know, a unique suit in its own right. But um, just going through, I think this is just another great piece that if you're a Batman fan that you can add to your collection. You know, and again, like I said, not the biggest fan of the movie, but I do like Val Kilmer, and hey, I love Batman. So this is definitely a figure that I think um, collectors out there should consider getting, and I think it's really well done. 
Now let's attempt to get him into some poses and talk about some of the things that I like and dislike about the figure. Starting with the things that I really like, let's start with that cape. It's a, a heavy heavy material, a well-draping cape, and it's got a really nice texture that doesn't look cheap. It, uh, it drapes really well. You're not going to be able to pull it over the shoulders of the Batman like the Batman Returns, but I still really like it a lot. The next thing that I really like about the figure is all the accessories, all the specialized hands um, that come with this thing. Even the base is nice, even though it's kind of been reused, but this is almost like a DX because you can also put the sonar eyes in there as well. So there's a lot you can do and there's a lot that comes with this figure. The third thing that I really like is obviously just the likeness to Val Kilmer, the cowl. Even in the eyes, you can just see Val himself. This is a really good likeness and I wouldn't expect anything less from Hot Toys. Now for some things that I didn't like as much, the first would obviously be the articulation, and it's not necessarily Hot Toys' fault. We're using a rubber suit, I mean, so unless we have visible joints and a plastic body, or a plastic suit, you know, we're kind of got to sacrifice a little bit of the articulation, so I'm okay with that, because it is Batman, he's going to be in that more standardized pose. The second thing that I don't like is the base itself. Um, I wish they would just come out with a brand new base. The lighting housing is still there, the battery compartment. Um, it is going to attract fingerprints and probably scratch, but outside of that, it looks cool. But I do wish we'd see something new. And the last thing that I don't like, kind of goes into articulation, I guess, but it's that we didn't get a split cut boot design. That would have helped a little bit with some posing, but I get you kind of sacrifice, you know, that realism uh, factor as well. But I think they still could have hit it, so it would have been nice to get the um, split cut boot design. All right, guys, well, that is the Batman Forever Sonar Suit. Let me know what you guys think of this video. Hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. I will be getting Robin sometime soon in the near future, so stay tuned for that review. Got a lot of great videos coming up, so I hope you guys stick around and, um, yeah, just be a part of the community. And, um, yeah, let me know in the comments below what you think of this figure, what you like about the figure, and maybe not so much what you don't like. So let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Until next time, stay safe out there, and we'll see you soon.